the major operation that is underway to find the TV doctor Michael Mosley uh, on the Greek island of Simi after he was reported missing by his wife. Now, there's an extensive search taking place on the island, drones and a helicopter being deployed trying to find the health expert and presenter. Uh, let's now cross live uh, to the Greek journalist Nikolas Vafiadis, who is there for us uh, this evening. Uh, evening to you, Nicholas. Good evening, Christoph. So, uh, so in, can, I, can I ask where you're based at the moment? I'm based in Athens right now. The, there was a search and rescue team that left Athens to go to the island of Simi to assist in the big investigation. Um, uh, Dr. Mosley, it's... Uh, but we have a new dimension right now. It's more mystery said to this story. Because he, there was actually a witness who said that he saw him after he crossed the dangerous trail uniting the beach of St. Nicholas and the Pevi. He said that he saw him waiting at the bus stop at Pevi. In the beginning, they didn't, I mean, the authorities didn't take him seriously. But right now, after examining security cameras, in Pevi, they saw him holding actually an umbrella to protect himself from the scorching sun. There was, there was, was like 37 degrees Celsius at the time. Uh, and he was crossing outside the restaurant. So uh, he reached Pevi. He crossed uh, safely. Because, the, because, uh, uh, because the, the route between, you're quite right, the route between St. Nicholas and Pevi is, is this 12 kilometre stretch where it was presumed that because that was quite difficult terrain, that something might have happened to him there. But now, because of this new CCTV footage, what you're saying is that the 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 now there seems to the mysterious part seems to be that he actually he got through the the part that was considered to be dangerous and and made it to the town. Correct, correct, Christian. But uh, the the thing is, did he uh, did, did he go onto the bus or I mean? He vanished before that. And so now the um, the whole investigation takes another path, another route. Uh, it's not as if, you know, he uh, stepped over and fell in the sea or whatever, as they thought in the beginning. Right now, they are actually questioning a lot of people on the island. Mind, keep in mind that it is a small island. It's just 60 square kilometers two and a half thousand people living on the, this island. Everybody, almost everybody knows oh, where the others are. So there is a lot of people uh, being questioned at the time by the authorities. The whole investigation has taken a huge dimension here in Greece. Uh, it's, it, the, the fire brigade is involved. Even the army is involved. The police, the local police, a lot of uh, uh, volunteers uh, from the area and from outside, the uh, research and rescue team from Athens. They have helicopters, they have drones, they have sniffer dogs, they have everything. So now the, it is a different investigation and uh, everybody is hoping on the little island that, uh, uh, you know, Dr. Mosley is safe somewhere, but uh, now the investigation takes another path. And, and where was he actually staying? Was he staying in St. Nicholas or was he staying in Pevi? He was staying in Yalos, another area. He needed so he needed to take the bus from Pedi to go to Yalos, where they, you know, they were living at a, a friendly house, of a, the house of a friendly couple. Yeah. And uh, and uh, between between Pedi and uh, Yalos, he vanished. So it's a different route that they are examining, fully examining. Uh, they are checking with all bus, all the bus drivers of the island and uh, everyone who might have seen him. They are looking for new witnesses. And uh, it's a different investigation right now. And, and obviously, the, so now it's focusing on whether he actually left Pevi or whether he is still somewhere within Pevi. Or if other people are involved, because uh, the, the authorities are trying to check everything. They check that uh, he really said goodbye to his wife and on St. Nicholas Beach. His wife and the friends, the, the friendly couple that were with them, took a boat from there to go to Yalos, and he said that I'll walk and uh, come home later. Uh, so he walked safely until Pedi. He waited at the bus stop, as one witness uh, claims, and uh, the pictures, obviously, that uh, we, we have seen in the last few minutes out of uh, some security cameras. He was in Pedi. So now the investigation moves 
between Pevi and Yalos. And is, I mean, again, I know that we're kind of speculating at the moment, but, but if there is something more sinister that might have happened, or as you alluded to, other people's involvement. I mean, is that something that has happened often on Simi? Is it, is it a, a, an island no, that, that has Simi, a lot of crime or not? Simi has zero crime, actually. I mean, it's a small island, uh, you know, villagers. Uh, no, I, I mean, it's zero. So uh, it, 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 it is a mystery. It's a big mystery. The authorities are looking into every possibility and uh, they are looking into, you know, which uh, visitors are on the island, other visitors, other tourists. And uh, so, I mean, the whole the whole investigation has changed in the last couple of hours, has changed course. And we're waiting to see what happens. But all of the people on the island are really looking, uh, you know, for Dr. Mosley. Uh, many people knew him, you know, from his uh, programs at the BBC, at ITV. Uh, from his writings uh, in uh, mail in daily mail and uh, all other all his activities he was very well known and many people also followed his uh, diet his 52 you know remittent diet yeah. so so he, he was famous and uh, so, everybody is is he, is, is he Nicholas, is he famous in greece well i mean uh, many people know about him know of him but uh, he's not as famous as in the uk but uh, uh, he was famous on the island because, you know, uh, people tend to ask questions. It's a small community and, you know, they heard that he was famous and uh, that really ignited, uh, you know, more appetite for news you yeah. know, on his vanity. And, and just finally, is it, I mean, obviously we're talking about it massively over here. Is it a big story in, in Greece now? Are all of the news networks uh, talking about this in Greece? It's almost uh, the top news story of the day, apart from the Euro elections, as you know, you know, we're having Euro elections on Sunday. So apart from the elections, it's the, the top story. It is a mystery. Uh, really interesting to get your perspective, especially on that route and that uh, 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 timeline as well. Uh, Nicolas Vafiadis, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us here on Talk. What a mystery. So it did seem quite cut and dried that he was trying to get to Pevi from the St. Nicholas Beach. Rather than taking the boat, he took the 12 kilometre route, which was, you know, there were parts of it that were quite difficult to rain. However, he seemed to have made that to Pevi because of the CCTV footage that has now been released showing that he made it there, which meant that he had to get on a bus to continue the journey. And, and that's where he seems so far.